Es perfecta mujer De la cabeza a los pies Tú pasas de mi nivel Tú tienes el pique Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video we're going to be doing this glam ball makeup look using some red tone colors. To begin this makeup look we're going to begin by using the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser from Maybelline. We're going to be applying this where we have larger pores and for me it's going to be around my nose area. So I'm just grabbing a small amount of product applying it and then tapping it in to fill in the pores and have an even base so when we put our foundation it's very smooth I'm gonna be using my brow pencil in the color dark brown I'm gonna begin by outlining the brow first and then slowly filling it in I like putting a little bit more pressure in the outer part of my eyebrow and less pressure in the front of the eyebrow just to make lighter strokes and making it look more natural. I do range on dancing with the storm clouds, but inside there's not a dry eye in this whole house. And it ain't sad this why these tears keep falling down now. I know I'm not alone. Now I just get caught up in my Now moving into the other brow, we're gonna be doing the same thing. Adding a little bit more pressure in the outer part of our eyebrow and blending everything out and then in the front of the eyebrow doing lighter pressure. Let me know in the comments if you guys like these kinds of videos. I'll be sharing right now with you guys the reason why I don't really do chit chat get ready with me. It's just a little bit harder for me to do those. And I'll be explaining right after this. Now we're going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color natural. You guys know that I love using foundation to carve out my brows or clean them up. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to start by doing... The outer part of my brow and then moving into the front of my brow and just taking my time and cleaning up the brow so like I said I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the reason why I don't do chit chat get ready with me and it's just because there's a lot going on where I live I live near the airport and not just that the train also passes near my home so it's very hard for me to have a quiet a quiet place to do the chit chat get ready with me if the airplane's not passing by the train is and if not all the cars are around so it makes it very noisy but if you guys like these videos and a little bit more chit chat get ready with me style I can always do voiceovers let me know in the comments if you guys like these kinds of videos and we can get to know each other a little bit more I know it's hard when you're just looking at a makeup look and not really connecting with the person so I would love to get a little bit more chit chatting with you guys and I can do this in a voiceover just because I can control it and now we're going to be applying the same in the upper brow cleaning it up and now we're going to be blending the line that I just made under my brow and above my brow just so when I use my sponge, I don't have to ruin my brow and have a better way of blending all the foundation. If you guys have any plans for this Halloween, I actually don't have any plans yet. Just probably going with my brothers, trick or treating. So if you guys want me to film a little vlog with that, let me know in the comments. Now I'm going to be using the same brush that I used to carve out my brows and to apply my foundation and blending it out with my Real Techniques sponge. Remember to have your sponge damp just to have a better application. Also let me know in the comments what other videos you guys would like me to do and I'll be sure to look at them. Oh, 
Now for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Morphe Boss Mood eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using these red tones. So I'm going to start by grabbing this color and applying it in the outer part of my eye and into the crease. Remember when doing nice shadow, try to grab a small amount of product just to make it easier for you to blend up. Right, I'm alright. Still might try, still might try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? And if that song I love don't speak to you and like it does to me. And if I'm not insane, then I'll say goodbye so carefully. Cause I'm alright, I'm alright. Still my try, still my try. What if you. Now we're just building the color up until we like the intensity of the color. And then moving in with the other, other red tone color and applying it into the outer part of it. Once again, applying most of the product into the outer V and then slowly. Blending it out into the crease. And if the words that we say climb up all the way. And try keeping this color a little bit lower than the first color we applied. Open it all, I'm too crazy to care. It's not right, it's not right. Still my try, still my try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind. Going back with the first brush we used and blending everything in. Now we're going to be applying a little bit of black and remember to grab just a small amount of product. What if you, what if I the night one more time? On the tip of my tongue, I'm scared out my mind because you're touching my own. Once you apply a small amount of product, blend it out, and then if you feel like it needs a little bit more black, remember to grab just a tiny bit more. I want to be your tongue, swear it's okay if you want to just talk. Well, I was on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind. And try keeping the black just very, very close to the outer V, not bringing it up too much. Going back with the other brush I used to blend the black out, and then using the first brush to blend everything in. My mind on the back of my mind. I think I'll give it a try. Now we're moving it into eyeliner. I'm going to be using the NK Makeup Micro Art Eyeliner. And guys, I'm not the best at eyeliner, but I'm going to try my best to make it look like. And I'm just going to be taking my time and small strokes making the eyeliner to my preference walk inside my mind and you will find true light I'm also going to be bringing the eyeliner into the inner corner of my eye and sorry guys if you guys can hear the dogs as I said the area where I live is pretty noisy I'm going to be going back with the second color that I used and just intensifying the color a little bit more just to the preference you want. If you want it not as dark, then you can add a small amount of product. If you want it a little bit darker, you can always build it up. Try me. Show me how you break, babe. Maybe you should be harder. You thinking that you're strong, babe. Now I'm going to be grabbing this white shade and putting this in the inner corner of my eye, applying most of the product right in the corner of my eye and then slowly blending it out to half of my eyelid, all the way to half of my eyelid and then I use my finger to blend the white shade into the red tone shades. Well goodbye, I know what is on your mind. 
you doing the same thing on the other eye applying most of the product in the inner corner and slowly blending it out into my eyelid and once again using my fingers to blend everything out Grabbing the first and second shade that I used in my crease, I'm going to be applying that in the outer part of my lower lash line. And applying a little bit of the black. And now we're ready for eyelashes. Now I'm going to be using the Too Faced Bronzer in Medium Deep and applying it in my cheekbones, in my jaw, and a little bit in my forehead. When it comes to bronzer, I like doing the same thing, grabbing a small amount of product and then slowly building it up. going into the wet and wild contouring palette called dulce de leche and i'm gonna be grabbing this white shade and applying it underneath my eyes and cleaning up my bronzer with the same color now we're gonna be removing the color using a big brush and blending everything out. For blush, I'm going to be using this butter blush and just applying it in the upper part of my cheek. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using this butter highlighter. For my lips, I'm going to be using this one in wild. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Milani Matte Lipstick. When I put it on, sorry for the airplane. When I put it on, I felt it was a little too red, so I decided to add a little bit of a black lip liner that I had just to make it a little bit darker. And I forgot to apply a little bit of mascara, so I'm going to be applying mascara on my upper lashes and my lower lashes and with that being said this is the final look i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you guys would want me to do more voiceovers and i'll see you guys next time bye i want to write one of those cheesy songs want to tell you how i feel